Question number six, Kevin Haig. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and asks, what is the government's estimate of the likely cost faced by Pharmac for each of the TPP's provisions relating to transparency processes, patent term extensions for pharmaceuticals and data protection extension for biologics? Speaker. Uh, the Hon. Pesitar Sam Lottawinger. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, am I, I am advised that the TPP will not change the Pharmac model. The administrative changes are expected to involve up to $4.5 million in one-off establishment costs and up to $2.2 million a year in operating costs. In respect of patent provisions, while the cost of any delays will depend on the case, the average cost is estimated at approximately $1 million a year. Point of order, Mr Speaker. Point of order. Kevin there was a question on notice, and I appreciate the Minister's answers to the first two categories of increased cost, but uh, he hasn't responded to the data protection extension for biologics issue. Can the Minister please respond specifically to the issue about extra costs associated with data protection extension for biologics? There is uh, no associated cost with those provisions. Um, the biologics outcome for TPP can be met within New Zealand's current policy settings and practice. The I mean, Kevin Haig, supplementary question. Well, can the Minister explain how it might be possible for data protection for biologics to be extended from five years to an eight years equivalent without costing New Zealand taxpayers substantially more? The Hon. Pesitar, well, Sam Lottawinger. Well, Mr Speaker, as, as I've said, under the current policy settings and practice, I've been advised that there will be no cost associated with those provisions. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Uh, if the United States tries to further extend data protection for biologics, which has been signalled, will the Minister categorically rule out agreeing to that? The Hon. Uh, Pesitar Sam Lottawinger. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, that's a hypothetical question I, I cannot give an answer to. Further supplementary? Supplementary. Supplementary yeah. question, Kevin Haig. Does the Minister accept that every dollar spent by the taxpayer of New Zealand on jumping through TPPA hoops is a dollar not spent on saving lives and on medicines for sick people? Uh, the Honourable Pesitar. Mr Speaker. Mr Speaker, what, what I, I do accept and what the New Zealand public accept is that there will be an estimated benefit of $2.7 billion to New Zealand's GDP by 2030. Sir, that will, that will save New Zealand businesses $274 million per year in tariffs um, and the benefits to jobs and opportunities for New Zealanders is going to be quite high. Yeah. Supplementary question, Kevin Haig. Yeah, supplementary, Mr Speaker. Does the Minister accept that if Pharmac has a capped budget, and it does, and TPPA will increase the costs of medicine, and it will, then an inevitable consequence is that it will be harder for Pharmac to fund new and innovative medicines such as those for treating HIV? The Hon. Pesitar, Mr. Sam Mr Speaker, what I will say, sir, to re in response to that question, is that Pharmac will continue to do what it does best. It prioritises spending and negotiation for the best prices for medicines with suppliers, and that benefits New Zealand consumers. <laughs> Supplementary question, Kevin Hay. Well, will the Minister guarantee that the extra cost to Pharmac because of the TPPA will be met by increased government funding and not taken from other health services or requiring Pharmac to find savings. The Hon. Pesitar, Sam Lottawinger. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, what I'll say is that despite claims by that member and others out there, consumers will not pay more for subsidised medicines as a result of TPP. The TPP will not change the Pharmac model. Point of order. Oh, point of order, Kevin Haig. Look, I appreciate that the, the Associate Minister is answering, answering on behalf of the Minister and so may not be as well informed as the Minister. However, for the last three supplementary questions, his answers have been largely unresponsive. And on this particular question, he's actually responded with an answer about dispensing fees, 
uh, rather than actually addressing the fundamental issue, which is the fact that New Zealand taxpayers will be paying more for medicines. Order. Um, I think on this occasion I can accept the member's frustration with some of the earlier answers, but the point of order wasn't raised then. On this particular question, I think the Minister has addressed it. Uh, the member asked for an absolute guarantee. Um, I think that's a tall order for any Minister to give a guarantee of that type, and I think he's addressed it in a way that he's, he has addressed it by saying he does not expect patients to pay more. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Kevin yep. Hay. Will the Minister now guarantee then that if the TPPA is ratified, that future Pharmac funding recommendations will be funded at the level which guarantees New Zealanders optimal access to medicines and not cut back as has been his government's typical practice? Uh, the Honourable Pesitar, well, Sam Mr Speaker, Speaker, on behalf of the Minister, no, I'm not going to make that guarantee. Question number seven, Ron Mark. 